right, ladies and gentlemen, it is here. The update to WebOS 3.0.268 has landed, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at what is new in it. Very first thing up is just type, which we can now search and check out things that are in the calendar. You can see calendar events. I tap that, and it shows me see calendar events that match that search item. I will go ahead and check out email, which is said to have faster scrolling, and it certainly appears to. Scrolling is all sorts of fast now, and along with uh, message content and image display. So let's go ahead and check out something that might have some images in it, and this does have some images in it, and everything displays much nicer, and would you look at that? It's so smooth now. Apart from that, we now also have an update to photos and videos that has enabled us to set images as a wallpaper. So we go ahead and tap there, and you can see set as wallpaper. And, ta-da, it's my new wallpaper. The music app has also seen an update, and it's much nicer now. It now looks very little like its old self, has all of your playlists that you may have loaded up along with all of your music. This is nice because before, none of my music was showing up, which was a small problem. But now it all appears to be here, and you can still do your various sorting by all that stuff, and jump into the nice big album view. Maybe not. I think I have to start playing first. We'll select something. There we go. Start playing. And jump in the album view. There you go. Apart from that, Text Assist has been improved so that it now recognizes things like contractions. And we'll go ahead and fire up the Google. Apart from that, it also has been improved so that it works now well within the browser. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I can't. Yeah. I don't, because can't is actually a word. Ah, no, it doesn't seem to be quite working as well as we would have liked, but then again, Google has that fancy pants instant search bar, so it might not work all too well there. We also have two new apps. You may have noticed down here, there is now a clock app. Go ahead and tap that. And essentially, they've taken the clock app from WebOS 2.2, or 2.1, excuse me, and brought it over to the touchpad here. You can tap down here and switch to the alarms view, set your new alarms. And actually, let's go ahead and create a new alarm. And it's just like on older devices. You can turn on whether it's on or off, change the name, change whether it happens just once, daily, weekdays, or weekends, set the time, and set the alert tone. We'll go ahead and cancel out of this, cancel. And there are also multiple clocks available along with your various settings. So we can set this to, ah, come on. There we go, analog to, and digital. And you can see they're pretty much big, vert. they're almost, you know, what was taken out of exhibition and sort of what was in the old clocks. So there is that, and lo and behold, there is now a calculator app. And check it out, it is, well, it's the WebOS 1.0 calculator blown up to big size. And we can turn it, landscape, and it just rotates, it doesn't get any bigger. And we'll see if there are any options here, copy and paste, no, there are no options there. There doesn't seem to be any way that we can discern to switch to different layouts, so it looks like all the scientific stuff that we liked didn't quite make it, but you can still pound out some simple calculations here with no problem. So, this has been a quick look at WebOS 3.0.268 on the HP Touchpad.